Halloween is right around the corner and I'm coming together with other kin community creators for a trick or treat collaboration. This playlist will be full of DIYs and recipes to get you ready for Halloween. I'm contributing a treat for this collaboration and will be showing you how to make pumpkin spice rollout cookies. Halloween doesn't have to be all about candy and sugary sweets. It can also just be the fun activity of the week before getting together or even on Halloween and baking something that's really special. I'm going to show you how to make my pumpkin cookies. They're rollout cookies, super fun, super easy, and a lot less sugar than you would actually think that they have. To start the recipe, in a large bowl, you're going to put your all-purpose flour, pumpkin pie spice, to give it that nice pumpkiny flavor with nutmeg and cinnamon, everything added already. Then you're gonna whisk in some baking powder to make these cookies nice and fluffy, and then a little bit of salt. Whisk everything up until it's nice and combined. Now in a separate bowl, you're gonna cream your butter and your brown sugar. I love this because that sugar just gives it that perfect amount of caramelly flavor that's just absolutely delicious. I like to make sure that I whip up that butter and brown sugar for about two to three minutes till it's nice and light and fluffy. Then you're gonna add in a little bit of vanilla extract and your pumpkin puree. You can absolutely roast a pumpkin if you want, but I like to use the canned pumpkin puree because it's easy and it tastes absolutely delicious. So just whisk that in, whip it all up till it's nice and fluffy, and then you're gonna add your dry all-purpose flour ingredients into that butter mixture and just cream it for about 30 seconds to a minute until it's all combined. Take your dough, place it on a piece of plastic wrap, cover it up, and then you're gonna put it into the refrigerator for about 30 minutes until it's nice and chilled. You could totally do this days before and just bring it out a few minutes before you need it. Now take two pieces of parchment paper. The parchment paper for me just makes rolling out cookies so much easier. But if you didn't have parchment paper, you could just flour your surface, put the dough out and roll away. By putting it between the parchment paper, it's just easier to roll out, doesn't stick, and you can just keep rolling it out, turning it a little bit each time until it's about a quarter inch thick. Now it's a fun part, let the kids Take any kind of cookie cutters, they're like pumpkins or witches, owls. Be inventive with this one. Cut out all your favorite shapes, put it on a parchment or silk hat lined baking sheet, and you're gonna bake these cookies at 325 degrees for about 20 minutes. They're gonna be nice and soft and golden, but not too brown like you would think. They have just really a, a nice just golden color. Transfer them to a wire rack and let them cool until you're ready to ice them if you want. Sometimes I serve them plain and sometimes I put just a little bit of confectioner sugar and milk in a bowl to stir it up and then I just do, I do a little bit of an outline. These are dye-free orange sprinkles I get from India Tree and I just love them because they're dye-free but it just adds a little bit of pizzazz. But you can decorate these cookies any way you like. Just have fun in Halloween. Get the kids involved. Make it an activity, just like you would decorating Christmas cookies. But this time it's Halloween cookies. You can serve your friends at a party or just enjoy yourself. For more fast, fresh, and easy recipes like this and more, check out Weelicious.com. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment below telling me what are your kids dressing up as this Halloween.